Coming up, build a working crane and drop in on your friends. Dance to the beat of your own drum. Shine up a silver treasure without having to polish. And put the power of water to work. I didn't know water had any power, Taryn. Nor did I, but I do know it's heavy. Well, maybe that's got something to do with Nicole's clever idea. Come on, birds. Don't any of you ever take a bath? We must have smelly birds around here. Because they never seem to use their bird bath. Olivia and I haven't seen a single bird go in. And we've been watching for ages. How can we make the bird bath more inviting? Birds love moving water. What about some kind of water feature? Not a boring old fountain. I got it. Right, look what I've got. Two paper plates, 10 foam cups, a jug of water, string, stapler, and this wooden rod. Can you guess what I'm gonna make, Olivia? Here's a clue. It needs running water, and our feathered friends are gonna love it. My go. Nice shot. Uh-oh, my marble. It's going over the edge. Look out below. Oops. Sorry, Emily. Thanks for catching it. Better be more careful. Here goes. Oh, no. Two marbles this time. Emily will think it's raining marbles. Sorry about that, Em. I'm overrunning up and down these stairs. I need a clever contraption to go fetch my marbles. OK, Larissa, I'm just marking a little rectangle on the lid of the shoebox. You can cut that out. We're going to build a working crane. We can just drop down the rope when we need a marble back. I put a string handle on a foam cup. This will be the carrying bucket for our crane. I asked Dad to hammer two long nails into this length of timber. One halfway and one at the end like this. That goes into the hole in the box at an angle. Tape it in place. Good, that's nice and strong. Now we need to cut out four small circles of cardboard. Poke a hole in the middle with a pen. Stick one on the bottom nail and one on the top nail. Then put an old cotton reel onto each nail and press another cardboard circle on after it. There's a handle to turn the bottom reel. And we'll use a bit of modelling clay to keep the top reel in place. Now I've cut a long piece of string. I'll loop that around the bottom reel a few times and tape it on. A crane just isn't a crane without a hook. So I'm using a bent paper clip. Tied to the end of the string. There, now the bucket to carry our marbles. Give the handle a turn. Hey, it's looking good. Can't wait to go and give it a try. We'll find out if Fraser's crane works in just a minute. But first, let's see what water powder wonder Nicole has come up with. Olivia and I are going to make a water wheel. With any luck, it'll attract some birds into our bird bath. I've stapled five cups around the back edge of this paper plate. They're all facing the same way. Now I staple another plate to the other side. One staple in each cup. Poke a hole in the very centre of the plate with scissors and feed the wooden rod through. Cool! That looks great! I'm going to tie a piece of string to the rod and attach a weight to the end. Water wheels like mine were once used to do work. This string will show you how the turning energy can be used. Don't look so worried, Olivia. Everything is coming together perfectly. <laughs> Jordan and I are down in the creepy basement. I hope there's no spiders down here. We're on the hunt for forgotten treasure. 
Nope, this is just trash. Ew! Dad stinky old boot. Hey, here's something. Jordan, I found some real treasure. It's a solid silver candlestick. It is silver. It just needs cleaning. And I know how to do it. Put that junk down, Jordan. Hold this. OK. We'll wrap the candlestick in a sheet of aluminium foil. Thanks, Jordan. I'll mix up my special potion. Warm water. A few big spoons of baking soda. And give it a stir to help it dissolve. One more thing. A big pinch of salt. Let's have two. Another quick stir. Now submerge the candlestick in the bowl. And leave it for about an hour. Jordan and I get to go play while my magic potion does all the hard work. I wonder how it's going. Must be nearly ready. OK, time to take a look. Off with the foil. Oh, it's looking good. Yes, it worked. One shiny silver candlestick. Now that's treasure. Over time, a chemical reaction between the silver and airborne sulphur particles created a layer of black tarnish on the candlestick. Jade's mixture created an electrical current flowing between the aluminium foil and the candlestick, which transferred the tarnish to the foil. This is called an electrochemical reaction. I wonder if there's any more trash we can turn into treasure. Like Dad's old boot. Oh, no. I guess not. Jade will never turn that old boot into treasure. No. Fraser is ready to test his invention, though. Let's go take a look. Our marble fetching crane is ready to go to work. We just place this book on the back and wind the handle. It works! Let's drop in on Emily. Marbles away! Chill out, Emily. It's only a marble. Our crane is coming to the rescue. Surprise! Hello down there. Put the marble in the crane bucket. This works brilliantly. Here it comes. Back to the top. Made it. Nice job, team. The book on the back of Fraser's crane is called a counterweight. It exerts a downward force that counteracts the weight of the load the crane is lifting. The top cotton reel is a pulley wheel. It converts the downward force of the handle Fraser was turning to an upward force that lifts the load. The counterweight must weigh more than the load to stop the crane tipping over. Thanks, Emily. Now you're on the crane crew, you'd better wear this. Safety first. Shakib and I love the sound of drums. So we're going to make some with different sounds. These should be perfect. Big one first. Double-sided sticky tape around the rim. Peel off the backing. Yup, good. Now, plastic wrap, stretch it across, stick it down and tear off the tape. That's the first one. Now for your one, Shakib. On goes the tape. Now the wrap. Stretch it over and tear it off. Nice and tight. Two drums ready to go. Hmm, tighter I think. So, my big sister's hair dryer. Give it a blast. Thanks, Shakib. Now mine. Now we're ready to go. Yup, nice and tight. The heat shrunk the plastic. Yours? Yeah, cool. Fantastic. What a sound. Hey, mine sounds deeper than yours. 
and they sound great together. Saif's drum makes a deeper sound because the larger area of plastic wrap vibrates slower than Shakib's smaller drum. Slower vibrations make deeper sounds. Faster vibrations make higher sounds. Go Shakib! Faster! Brilliant! We're so good! We'll soon be asked to join the band. Those two were really getting busy with the beat. <laughs> Nicole and Olivia have been busy too. Let's find out how they're getting on. OK, we're just about ready to test our water wheel. We can use these handy garden stakes to hold it above the bird bath. Now watch what happens when I tip water into the cups. It spins. All I have to do is keep filling the cups. And look how it's picking up the weight. It's like a water-powered engine. Only one problem. We're out of water. I have an idea. The garden hose. Hold this over the wheel, Olivia. Ready? Here it goes. Yeah! It works so well. We only need a tiny trickle of water to turn the wheel. A water wheel gets its power from the weight of the water in the cups, not from how fast the water is flowing. As the cups are filled up, the downward force of gravity provides the power for the wheel to turn. If you want a water wheel with more power, you need a larger wheel with more distance to turn or larger cups to hold more water. Okay, the hose is in place. Our water wheel is working. Now all we have to do is sit back and watch. Bird watch, that is. Oh, those little birdies are so cute. I want to sit back and watch them too. <laughs> well, you can, Dana, because we've come to the end of the show. See, See you next time. time.